Well, I was very impressed with the turnout today, even though it's snowing and the, the temperatures are pretty cold. The fact that we have, uh, you know, maybe a couple thousand people today to support not only the uh, state workers and public workers in Wisconsin, but the state and public workers in Michigan, and to oppose some of these, uh, these this whole notion of uh, taxing uh, the, the middle class and the poor and giving tax breaks for the rich. This is not just a Michigan phenomenon. This is happening all across the country where the legislatures are dominated by Republicans. So it's, it's good that we're standing up and pointing out that this can't, this won't do, this won't stand. And so I came from Oakland County, uh, Clarkston area, just to uh, stand with the, the people that are here, standing with Wisconsin. Where do we go from here? What do you think is going to happen now? Well, I think Going forward, I think it's just unfortunately it's going to be a lot more. It's going to take a lot more grassroots efforts, uh, a lot more demonstrations with the state and, and talking, reaching out, and trying to uh, convince these legislators that that there are consequences to these votes that they're taking. And we, frankly, in the long term, we just have to get more Democrats elected to statewide office, and we have to convince people that staying home for an election won't do. You know, one of the reasons why we have a Republican majority in Michigan is uh, 600,000 Democrats just stayed home in 2010, and that just can't happen this time. Going to 2011 elections and 2012 elections especially, we have to get the vote out. And, pe and I think the uh, actions in the legislature are reminding people what's at stake. I think people just forgot what's at stake in the last election, and they ha now, now we're getting painful reminders with the, with the legislation that's coming out of this uh, state house here. People are very concerned about cuts to education. The, uh, the school classroom sizes um, you know, are going from 30 to 60 in some school districts, and people are worried about you know, what's going to happen next. Retirees are worried about you know, their pensions being taxed uh, because they're already having trouble making ends meet, and now they're, now they're looking to have even less money to spend on uh, food and other necessities like prescription drugs. So we have a lot of work to do and, and there is a lot of concern right now and I think as the legislature may takes more actions, uh, you know, I think that concern is going to grow. So.